Assalamu alaikum and very good morning to you all. Today in the grade 6 for the subject science, we are going to continue our lesson 3 that is other land resources and we are going to continue it from the pages 344 and 345. In this lesson particularly we are going to see some of the learning objectives. What are the learning objectives in the today's lesson that we are going to see here. How do people affect the environment and how does the pollution occurs? Also we are going to see here about how people affect water and air where we are going to see about smoke and acid rain particularly about the air pollution. We are going to see here the water pollution as well as the air pollution. In this lesson in the last uh, videos we have already studied about the different renewable and non-renewable resources where also we have studied about the coal formation and the oil and natural gas formation also we are going to continue it with the pollution how does pollution occurs and what the pollution is so here the pollution is the things people do every day in uh, uh, in day to day life what we are doing that is the uh, we are affecting the environment and pollution is the harmful change to the natural environment and how does it occurs because of the, the this pollution occurs when the earth's land water and air have a limited capacity to absorb waste and to recycle them naturally so here, earth land, earth land, water and air can absorb only so much waste and recycle them naturally. So here, landfills is also the one of the kind of thing that especially designed places where uh, garbage is de uh, deposited into the uh, lined pits. So here, uh, one can say that the garbage decomposes slowly and safely where the there is no covered then covered with the soil gives the pollution also there are some areas with open pits for dumping and other areas garbage burn in incinerations incinerators and that give off lots of smoke so here you can see that the garbage how it is it is being thrown and uh, because of that there is a when it is being burned it gives lot of smoke and causes pollution so here the other thing that we are uh, looking here in the picture that the cutting of the trees cutting down of forest without planting more trees also removes roots that prevent soil uh, soil erosion so here when uh, we are uh, creating the pollutions you can see that the uh, people they are cutting the trees and because of that it is uh, they are not planting the new trees if they don't plant the new trees then it causes a pollution here you can say that the another kind of thing that we are looking here that is how the people affect water and air so here many of the ordinary things people do in daily life can cause water and air pollution so here the water pollution is the water is uh, water pollution is another one of the uh, main uh, types of pollution of the environment where the water pollution could be in the form of any change in physical chemical and biological properties of water which has a harmful effect on living things it could take place in various water sources like ponds lakes rivers seas and oceans so this causes the water pollution in addition to that the when people burn fuels uh, to power uh, factories heat homes or drive vehicles they also produce air pollution and 
the smoke is a type of air pollution that can form for urban or industrial areas smoke is a combination of smoke and fog so here we are talking about the smoke that the type of air pollution that can form over urban and industrial areas it irritates the eyes which uh, the smoke which uh, which is causing the trouble in the eyes also the nose and also the throat so here air quality alerts for people with respiratory conditions such as asthma because of the smoke and this is the combination as i told you this is a combination of smoke and fog so togetherly it is giving the uh, pollution that we call it as smoke the another thing which we are talking about the air pollution the most common sources of air pollution include the burning of fossils fossil fuels and other materials in oil refineries power plants factories automobiles and other forms of transportation as well as the incinerators the fumes from aerosols and aerosols and chemicals like paint uh, also cause air pollution so here you will be uh, finding that the pollution is because of the lot of things what we are doing in the day to day activity and from that we are the like we are doing the things uh, for our needs but it is also giving the effect on the environment and here we can say that the acid rain which occurs when air pollution mixes with moisture in the atmosphere and also the nitrogen and sulfur gas produced by burning fossil fuels combine with water vapor in the air to form acids and these acids these acids fall to earth as acid rain or snow acid rain can pollute water and soil and kill plants and fish and damage the stone and metal used in the building and statues it is also damaging the the because of the uh, water which is uh, acid water it damages the stones and metals used in the buildings and statues so because of the acid rain it is giving the, the lot of effect on the environment that it is killing the uh, plants and also the fish or more or we are Uh, we are talking about this uh, such kind of acid rain the united states has laws in effect that protect the environment these laws help uh, help to stop the some of the causes of uh, air water and land pollutions so the U united state has made the laws to protect uh, from the uh, to save the environment and uh, protect from the pollution they have uh, passed some laws and that can be making the air water and land pollution to a, a smaller extent or it can reduce the uh, causes of this uh, air water and uh, land pollutions so with this i am going to conclude here the today's lesson i will be back with the new video for the further part of the lesson till then thank you and goodbye